Hello, hello. Okay, so here are some examples that we're going to do. And I'll do one video with prisms and rectangles, or rather rectangular prisms and pyramids, so that you can kind of focus on those and then try some of the some of the prisms and pyramids on the classwork. Then I'll make another quick video with um, cylinders and spheres. Okay, so let me kind of I'm going to zoom in a little bit because the print on these guys is pretty small. Okay, there it is. So those are two rectangular prisms right there up at the top. So first off, maybe you can see, remember that the way we're going to figure out the surface area for, for a prism like this, right, I'll kind of redraw it like this, is we're going to find... the area of the top here and then double it to get the area of the bottom, the area of the front and then double it to get the back, and then the area of the side and then double it to get the area of the other, area of the other side too, then add all of that together to get us the total outside area. So I'll kind of pull these apart here. Can you see that on this box here, There's a top side, which is 10 by 6. There's a front side, let's call it, which is 4 by 6. And then there is a side side, which is 10 by 4. All right? And then there's two each of those. Slide that over, you can see it better. Okay, good. So now, the area of this, 4 times 6, that's 24. So the two sides together are 48. I'm going to put times 2, right? And then there's a top and a bottom. The area of that 60 times 2. Well, that's going to be 120. Then the area of this one is 40 times 2 is 80, right? So we add those together. 120 plus 80 is 200 plus 48. 248 square feet since feet are the units of the dimensions, right? See how that works? Okay, right. So you got to make sure you're getting two, four, six sides. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead. What you should do now is you should put the video on pause and try this one on your own. Okay? Just to make sure you can do it by yourself. Okay, you're back. All right, so let's do this one here. Okay, this has got the top side, which is 6 by 6, and there's two of them because there's the bottom, and then there's going to be a, a right-hand side, that's this one right here, which is going to be 6 by 8, and then there's going to be a front, that's one here, 6 by 8, and then there's another one, so that's times 2, the one on the back side that's hidden, and then there's going to be a a front side, which maybe you can see is going to be this side right here, which is 6 by 8. This is 8. That has to be 8 too. So it's 6 by 8 is what the front side is, right? Also 6 by 8. And there's also two of those, right? So we add those together. That's 36 times 2 is 72. 6 times 8, that's 48. Times 2 is 96. And then also 48 times 2 is 96, right? So, and those add up to 264. Doing it right now, 264.
so you can see that. Here's what I was writing. It was hidden by this camera, so I wasn't very careful about that. Okay, so here's the right side. Here, here's the the front side and the back side. Here is the left side and the right. The, the left side and the right side. Here is the top side and the bottom side. Okay, so that's how that goes. Okay. Now let's try this pyramid down here. Now keep in mind. This pyramid here has got five sides. One, two, three, four triangular sides, and then one square side on the bottom, right? So here is the square side on the bottom, which as you can see is going to be six times six, and then one of the one of the triangular sides, say this one right here, is six at the base. And according to this, it is 12 high, right? And there's four of them, so that's going to be times four, right? So, six times six, 36, right? And there's only one of them, so it's just 36. Now, six, remember that for the area of a triangle is, you know, Base times height divided by 2. Don't forget to divide by 2. 6 times 12 is 72. Right? Divided by 2 is uh, 36. So it's 4 times 36. Right? 4 times 36. Why, that's 144, so that's equal to 144, so the entire area is 36 plus 144, which is equal to 150 square miles. Okay, so how that goes. Okay, let's try this one here. Okay, I'll move it over here so we can see the entire thing. Okay, so now stop the video for a second and try this out and see how it goes. Okay, you've stopped the video, right? You're not just waiting for me to continue because you should try this by yourself. Okay, so hopefully you've tried it by yourself. Here is our pyramid. It's got square base and a four triangular sides which are five also at the base and five at the base and the slant height they call it which for this triangle is or for this pyramid is 10.3 right so now and then that's going to be times 4, because there's 4 of them. So 5 times 5, that's 25, right? And then 10.3 times 5 on Mr. Calculator, 10.3 times 5 is equal to that, divided by 2 is equal to, and we're getting 25.78. So this triangle is Sorry, 25.75. So one of the sides is 25.75, so we multiply it by 4, and we get 103. So the area of the four lateral sides are 103 total, plus the 25 gives us 128 square centimeters. And that's our answer. All right, very good. So I'll just so that's this. So I'll stop here. It's about ten minutes. I'm going to do the last video. Will be uh, uh, cylinders and spheres. Bye.